but the vast expanses of the African continent contain some very diverse landscapes. A long way from Angay's Island is one of the world's great tea growing areas. The life of the people on these enormous expanses of land is quite different to that of the island dwellers. Here, Tongu, aged 12, lives with his family. The vast majority of children in the area spend their whole weekends gathering leaves from the tea plants in the local estates, and Tongu is no exception. He and his sister get up early and spend the day plucking the tender buds to help their family get by. They have to work carefully. They'll only be able to sell the leaves that are in perfect condition and just ripe enough. They have to take them to one of the far-off stations where the precious leaves are selected and stored. Naturally, they have to walk there. There are few other means of transport in the region. The selection centers operate seven days a week. There the tea leaves are sorted and only the ones that meet all the requirements are chosen from each basket. The selected leaves are packed into sacks, which are used for weighing the material. After weighing, the children get paid. The money never goes far. By the time Tongu gets back, it's getting dark. The handful of coins they've earned from their work will help buy food for dinner. The family gathers in the simple hut where they live and cook. Everyone plays their part in preparing their single meal. And the menu is always the same. Boiled corn and a bit of soup.